Buenos dias from Buenos Aires. It's the day before the 2022 World Cup final between Argentina and France. I'm about to make my way to Via 31, which is the most notorious neighborhood in all of Buenos Aires. But before I do that, I need to go change some cash and I need to get myself a messy top because for one day and one day only, this Englishman will be supporting Argentina at a World Cup. Now, the reason I mention the cash is because here in Argentina, the currency is fluctuating up and down all over the place. And there's a black market here, and we call it the blue rate, or it's called the blue rate. And it gets you almost double what the official rate is. So we're about to head into the main street over here, and I'll try and get some change from a cambio man. Apparently when you walk around, I haven't been down there yet, but when you walk around, apparently they're shouting cambio, cambio, and you get yourself a decent rate, and you double your money. So let's go do that, then we'll get ourselves a, a messy top, because of course there's only one man that can be on the back of the shirt for tomorrow. And then we're gonna make our way into Via 31. Let's go. So I've been told it's Florida Street is where you get the, the cambio men who are asking to change your, your currency over for the euros or for your dollars, to give you the good rate. But if you're just seeing the distance here, we've got the obelisk. So hopefully on Sunday, Sunday evening, we'll be partying and celebrating the World Cup win. I can't believe I'm saying it as an Englishman, but I am so looking forward to seeing Argentina and Messi hello, lift the World Cup. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah. yeah, so hopefully we get to see the little fella, the Argentinian little fella, because obviously there's only one real little fella. But hopefully we get to see him lift the cup on uh, Sunday. <laughs> Cambio. 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 What's the rate, mate? Huh? What's the rate for dollars? Si, cuánto de dólares? Dollars, yeah, uh, a hundred. Let's have a look. Cuánto quiere cambiar? One hundred dollars, yeah? Cuatrocientos? Uh, one hundred. Yeah. Let me see. Cuántos dólares? Cuántos dólares? So I've got one hundred dollars. Treinta mil pesos. Treinta mil. Now that's the same I can get at Western Union. Western Union no, is the same. Western Union allá, pero está cerrado hoy. Yeah, I got one free 10 yesterday from Western 30. Union. I got free 10 yesterday from Western Union. Let me do it. So, so. Western Union, it's free 10. It's a safe no, 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 no. Yeah, Pucho, I got Pucho, yesterday. Pucho, Pucho. 3.10. Yeah. Tú quieres 10. Por 100. 31,000 pesos. Sí. Thank you. The official rate is something like 180 or 190, so 310 is a decent rate, so hopefully we don't get some fake. But yeah, look, everywhere you go, cambio, cambio. Just waiting in the queue now to get the cambio. This is like one of them stupid games where it's a black market, but everyone knows it goes on. So it's like one of them stupid games we play as humans, rather than just admitting what it is that we actually want to do and what we are doing. Anyway, 310 is the rate, apparently it's a pretty decent one, so a bonus. So we ended up getting 31,000 pesos for our $100, which I think would have got us 19,000 if we'd gone and done it through the official way. Hopefully the notes aren't counterfeit because there is apparently a lot of that going on. I'm completely unaware of what the actual notes look like, so hopefully we haven't been done over. Now let's go find ourselves a messy top, shall we? Some touch of sell here, so let's go have a look. Let's see if they're on, uh, see if we've got a messy top. The school bar, we're done. Hola. Uh, ¿Quién es uh, Messi? ¿De Brasil? Yes, no, Messi. Messi, Messi no. No, no. No, oh. tengo así, pero no tengo... Oh, why not? <laughs> okay, no worries. Thank you very much. Bueno, ¿de dónde viene? ¿De qué país? I was just from Messi. I'm from uh, England. England, yeah, London. Sí, England. London uh, no, England, Middlesbrough. From Middlesbrough. Ah, Middlesbrough. Ah, sí, sí, sí. All the best, mate. Nice to meet you. Mucho gusto. <laughs> ah, it's all out of Messi top, so we're going to have to go further down here. I keep looking. There we are, mate. Thank you very much. Uh, oh. oh, thank you very much. Yeah. So we got a messy top. Fucking looking good in this Argentina top, I'm telling you. Right. Now to Villa 31, let's go. So 
So we're in VF 31 right now, being escorted out basically because I walked in a little too far and I got warned by uh, my major. Come to Yamas. Mario. Mario. Mario ah. has told me that if I come this way, I'm going to get robbed. So Mario and his, his guys are helping me walk out to go find some comida, some beer, and then we're going to have a little chill. But yeah, this place is pretty wild. It's mostly inhabited by immigrants from Paraguay and Bolivia and other parts of Argentina. And it's very similar very similar feeling to what it's like being in one of the favelas in Brazil. It's very similar, but on much more flat lands. But yeah, this is what it's like. Hi. Hey, how are we doing? Hola. Hola. Uh, Simpera, Simpera has the vida, I think. Si. Si? Si. And is life good? Uh, bien. Bien? Si. Sí. A veces peligroso, a veces no. Uh, hay mucha policía ahora, pero... En los barrios así como esto sí. no hay mucho movimiento y la gente eh, hace daño. Sí. Yeah, there was a bit of a commotion. I walked a little bit far and there was maybe 15, 20 people. I had a, a woman who came out and said, my man was going to take it, which is uh, Mario here. He's taking us out. And uh, but we're just having a walk oh, through. We are pretty deep into this here. But yeah, you can see the way those structures are built. A lot of them, they're built of breeze blocks and they're pretty much unfinished. Um, the people here live in pretty difficult conditions, but as Maris just said, life is good here. And there's a sense of community, so, but yeah, check this out. Guarda tu camera. Guarda tu camera. The language barrier is always difficult in these situations. Being an Englishman, walking through these places is a little bit difficult without the Spanish language. But look, look at these houses, how the people are living. Pretty incredible the uh, ingenuity of the people to create these. These are all, all these buildings. None of them are really registered. They're similar to the favelas. They're all basically illegal, unofficial encampments. But the people have got to have lived somewhere. And this is where they come. Check it out. The kids playing football everywhere you go here. There's Messi tops. Messi everywhere. Everybody's God, eh? No. And Maradona and Messi's God everywhere. See. Sí. Sí. But yeah, now we're heading towards the market where you've got pretty much everything here. We'll have a little bit, we'll get some beer, we'll have a little walk around. So you've got your market stall here, you've got all your fresh fruits, fresh fruits and veg. What else have we got? We've got a vodka over here. Oh, one the vodka. Hola, señora, Hola. ¿cuánto vale? Señora. Me da un cuatro. ¿De qué fruta querés? Eh, frutilla. This one, strawberry. See, yeah, let's do it. We got one. So we're getting ourselves a nice little cocktail here in uh, Via 31 or Visha 31 in the market. And we're underneath the bridge. Part of the settlement is built underneath the bridge. <laughs> if you dog. This one. No? Huh? I can't lie, that was pretty intense when I was walking through there. The, a lot of people came and stopped me and told me I couldn't go any further. The people were planning to rob me. Pretty, pretty intense moment. It's only early days doing this sort of stuff, so getting used to what it is and familiar, getting familiar with the situations is pretty wild. But yeah, hopefully now we've got Mario with us, we'll be all good. I'm going to report me my cocktail well. So we're going to be sharing this cocktail, I think, as we walk out. And Mario's got it for me kindly. Okay, yeah, it looks delicious. What's the number of the drink? No, no, no. Here we go. Tasty? Well? Bueno? Hello. What's it say? The Paris. No, no Paris. <laughs> England, Inglaterra. Si. <laughs> Just making sure I'm not French. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Keep sharing, sure. keep sharing, yeah? And here we work back into the market. Look at this food. Check this out. The sausage, the chicken. We'll have to, get, we'll have to grab some more of that. 
chocolates and food. This guy seems to know everyone. So he's a good guy to bump into. I get the kids playing the football. You doing lads? See, see, see. He's a bit nervous for me here, Barry. He keeps uh, telling me to hurry up as we're walking through, especially now I've got the camera out. But we're about to walk into a major market here. Look at this. Alright, guys. This drink's delicious. I can't remember the name of it, but a bit of vodka, a bit of strawberry. Can't, can't complain. Quantas personas viven aquí? Oh, la verdad que no sabría decirte porque viven una banda de gente. Mucha, mucha. Mucha, mucha. Sí, es el... mucho, mucho es extranjero. Extranjero. Ajá, o sea, extranjero, um... peruano, paraguayo, venezolano, colombiano, chileno. Ah, oh, so chileno, colombians, Colombian, paraguayan, peruano, bolivian. Peruano. Oh, okay. So yeah, Mario is basically confirming that a lot of the people that come here are from all over South America and they come here looking for work and a different life to what they have at home. So this settlement began in the 1930s and has continued to grow and continued to expand ever since. And that's, uh, that's why it is the size it is now. And as Mario's just explained, it continues to grow in size. The food, look at this on the trolley. Gonna have to get some. All right, gracias. Sí, voy con mi hijo ¿Eh? y con mi señora ah, sí. al cine. ¿Al cine? Se vamos al cine. Ah, ¿Al cine? Sí. Yeah. Vamos a ver Avatar. Okay. Joshua. Ah, gracias. Guarda tu celular, Joshua. Porque ahora vamos por acá. Uh -huh. no sí. Bueno, ¿qué es la uh, mejor comida para... Para comer, sí, yeah, yeah, yeah. la verdad es que tiene varias variedades. Tiene comida boliviana, comida peruana, comida paraguaya. So, have a look, you get the best, any of the best. La comida peruana es la sí. mejor. Sí. Gracias. So, we're going to go get the best food that uh, Mario thinks is here. The people are super friendly. Gracias for, uh, uh, for walking with me. No, no. Yeah, see? Keeping me safe, eh? Is it Visha 21? Sí. Is it peligroso? Ah? Peligroso? Sí, más sí. o menos. Más? No, no. Eh, como todo barrio, digamos. Sí. Hay, hay lugares donde hay peligro y hay lugares donde no. ¿viste? Como ejemplo acá, ¿eh? Sí. Que, que está la, 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 el paseo comercial. Ahí hay mucha gente, no puede hacer nada. Sí y es tranquilo. Ay. En cambio, en otros lados, como tipo allá, donde estabas vos, ¿Sí? donde te encontré yo, donde yes. vivo yo, ahí sí es peligroso. Ok, ok. Sí. So, in my loose understanding of Spanish, I think you were saying, basically, it's more or less dangerous, it's mostly safe, but if I'd been on my own, then it would possibly be dangerous. That was my rough translation. We'll see what it is when I get an actual Spanish speaker to uh, translate it, but that's what's rough understanding so far. So obviously super grateful that Mario come out and saved me, basically, with the, uh, the kids and the, his missus that come out and they really seem to be worried about me. And here you can see more construction come in in the breeze blocks of the buildings. See? Here's a major bus station, and just over the other side of it is the port. And I, I reckon, because this is so close to the port, this is why the immigrants settled here and started building up this, this huge settlement, which I've been walking now for maybe an hour in basically one direction, and it just doesn't seem to be ending. No? Do you know See? Yeah. Do we go get some food? What do you want? Some chicken, some, some, oh, what's chicken? Pollo? Pollo, eh, pollo. Carne, carne pollo, asada, eh? Pollo, pollo. Oh, pollo. My mistake, here in Argentina, the pronunciation is very different to in Mexico or other places. So it's pollo, pollo. Pollo. Pollo, instead of pollo. And it's not via, it's visha. Visha. Visha, right, visha. Yeah, see. Visha. They do it differently here in Argentina. Inglaterra. Inglaterra, see, sí. in the World Cup. So now Argentina must beat France, eh? Yeah. Anyone but France. Hello, how are you, my friend? Hello, how are we doing? You good? I hope so, I hope so. And you, brother? Yeah, everyone's so friendly, man. 
some construction going on here, look at this. He's in ropes and bullets, he things to the top. The staircases are so narrow, it'd be almost impossible. Hola. You got your shops. Restaurants all the way along. Should we get some of this? Is this good? Yeah? Cheaper. Cheaper, is it good? Yeah, that's right. You want a cheaper? Yeah, come on, let's get some. Hola. Hola. Comida paraguaya. Paraguay. Paraguay, no? Paraguay. Ah, okay, let's try some Paraguayan food then. We've got some cheapers from Paraguay. Can we have cuatro? Por favor. Gracias. 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 So we got ourselves some cheapas. You want mom? Go on then. Cheapas. Do you like it? Let's give this uh, Paraguayan snack a little go. Hola, hola. <laughs> no, it's pretty dry to be honest. How are we doing? <laughs> Shoot, huh? <laughs> To be honest, it's pretty dry. I'm not really sure. I think it's a bit cheesy. It's okay though. It'd be nice with a beer. You're too young for cerveza. No. 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 <laughs> you know? <laughs> Hola. You know you're in Argentina when you see the mate. Everywhere you go, you see mate. Mate, Messi, and Maradona. Everywhere in Argentina. A bloody mouthful of food. We can't say hello. It's so dry, it's impossible to speak then. Did you get the meat? The food? Me that. Right, we found some. Let's go get some uh, food in the belly. You get a common cherry palm? Cherry palm? Yeah, let's see, let's see. Let's see what we've got here. Sausages, some chicken, beef burgers. Let's get some grub. Gracias, what's this called? Beautiful. No, hamburguesa, no? hamburguesa. Hamburguesa, okay, okay. Hamburguesa. Good, yeah? Gracias. Thank you very much, Mario. Right, we're going to try this. Was it cherry palm? Cherry palm. Picante, cherry palm. Picante. Picante. Ah, no, it's not picante. No, no it would be fine. <laughs> Is it picante already? Let's have a look. <laughs> it's very good. Muy bien. <laughs> Muy rico, as they say. Fuck, no, it's delicious. So I'm probably going to end the video here. That was a pretty mental experience, I'm not going to lie, it was really overwhelming when everyone came out. I never got that bit on camera because I was just testing the ground. And even testing the ground, people came out to say it was a bit, a bit dangerous and I should be leaving. They even said I was an idiot for coming here. But anyway, it turned out for the best. Met Mario and the guys, and now we're going to go watch Avatar. Not sure where the next video is going to come from, so until next time, see you later.